Okay. Um, so I've already finished the story. I've already, I think I'm almost at 100% on years one through four. And I've already finished uh, the story for five through seven. I'm just going back through the levels and replaying them on free mode to try to get all the collectibles. Um, trying to get all the quests, uh, all the crests and everything. So... But, um, also there's a lot of things about Lego Harry Potter that really piss me off. <laughs> like the levitation mechanic, whenever you're having to like build things with the Lego pieces, the levitation mechanic is so fucking infuriating because half the time it won't target the Lego you're trying to target. And then even when it does, when you try to put it where you're trying to put it, it'll like move it over. It'll, like, you'll have it right where you want to put it, and then when you try to go and place it, it'll be like, Meow! Oh, did you want it here? Oh, did you want it here? It's infuriating. But I keep coming back to it. Because I'm a stubborn bitch. I'm a stubborn completionist bitch, and I want to... <laughs> I want to get 100%. Um, is anybody else a fan of uh, Lego games? I really, really loved Lego Jurassic World. Those were the first ever Lego games I played. I played them uh, a couple months ago, just finished like the whole the whole collection. And really, really love those games. Those were super fun. There were still a few mechanics that were kind of like clunky and frustrating. Um, and I think, and I almost got to 100% on, uh, on the Lego Jurassic World games, but I think it was something was glitched that that I couldn't get to 100%. It was like, I don't know, it was something that I should have been able to find, but it was glitched or something. I don't even remember. Okay, so we're just gonna start back at the first level of year five, and I'm gonna have to do the infuriating Lego levitation bullshit in this one, but the good news is I know I'm only missing one crest. I'm only missing the Ravenclaw crest, and I know what I have to do to get it. Um, it's just a pain in the ass that, like, when there's different sort of, like, areas within one level, if you miss something in a previous area, you have to start over. You have to do the whole fucking level over again, and that really pisses me off, because that's why I'm having to redo this level again. But anyway, um... Still trying to enjoy it. <laughs> like, um, I really like that in Lego Jurassic World, instead of doing this bullshit where they don't, where the characters just go, meh, 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 and they just make these stupid noises, um, <laughs> I like that in Lego Jurassic World, they actually use actual dialogue, actual audio from the movies. I think that's so funny, so clever. Like, it works so well and it's actually like really funny whereas like the way they did it in the Lego Harry Potter games is just like it's just is silly it's like Meh. no dialogue just noises and I'm just like anyway um, but I did see I actually saw something in like gaming news that they're gonna be doing a remake of, or, or they're doing a new Lego Harry Potter or something like that. Um, I don't know if it was a remake or, or what, but anyway, I, I'm really, really hopeful about that, that they're gonna make a lot of the improvements to them, because um, I'm pretty sure that the Lego Jurassic World games were made after these Lego Harry Potter games. And so it was funny that I actually played the Lego Jurassic World games first and then started playing these because it was like going back in time and being like, oh yeah, I see how much worse this stuff was in Lego Harry Potter. So I'm hoping that uh, that in the new ones that they will make a lot of improvements on a lot of these like clunky, infuriating mechanics and like how half of the things are just like hidden and there's no way that you could have known what to do without looking it up and that the other half of the things that you like when you just you know uh jinx them it's like they don't 
it's like there's no purpose, you know what I mean? They'll like, it'll like, um, <clears throat> like say you, uh, you throw a jinx at something like that. Um, like maybe it'll give you a few studs at first, but then you can keep jinxing it and then just nothing happens. And it's just like, what was the point of that then, you know? I don't know if any of that makes sense. But yeah, this is what I do. I complain a lot. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just frustrating, especially since Legos, Lego video games, I feel like they're kind of like, you know, primarily geared towards children. And I'm like, if I, playing this as an adult grown woman, am having to look up stuff half the time, then how the fuck do you expect a kid to, to be able to do this shit without having to look it up? And to me, that's the mark of a good game, is if I don't have to look things up. Um, like, unless something's, you know, like, really challenging, and it's like, you know, look at having to look something up maybe, like, once or twice throughout a game, like, that's fine. But if I'm having to look stuff up, like, constantly, like I've had in these Lego Harry Potter games, I'm like, that's how you know it's not a good game, because you just shouldn't have to, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm very opinionated. <laughs> Anybody else feel the same way? Let's dig up this stuff. Anyway, um, like I said, let me know what kind of Lego games y'all enjoy. Let me know if y'all have recommendations. If you know, uh, if you know that the Lego games like got better, even better after Jurassic World. Okay, that's everything. Let's go on the seesaw. <clears throat> I'm supposed to be using Dudley here because Dudley is very strong, but uh, so is Fang. <laughs> and Fang is cuter. Also, I'm sorry that there's no game audio. I apologize about that. I don't know if anybody noticed yet, but um, it's something that when I first started my stream earlier this evening, I tried fixing it and then and then when I tried adding the game audio, for some reason it took away all of the audio and then people couldn't even hear me. So then I had to go back to, to try to make it uh, back to how it was with no game audio and, and just my mic, which is the webcam mic actually. And so I'm having to use headphones so that I can hear the game audio, but I'm really sorry that y'all can't. Um, I'm going to have to try to troubleshoot that later on. Anyway.
It's very satisfying. Sorry, Fane. My bad. Sorry, honey. Is there another one over here? Where's the other one? What? Well, Fane, you keep getting in the way. <laughs> yeah, parts of it are really fun, and then parts of it are really infuriating. Yeah. Yeah, it's worth a try. Just just uh know in advance that there's parts of there's mechanics in it that are really really like clunky and really frustrating and I'm about to show y'all one right now. Oh my god. Get over the fucking bridge, would you? Come on. Come on. Don't you fall in it. Ah. <laughs> Get out of there. Come on. Oh no. Oh gosh, y'all. We might have to. Uh... Come on. Get out of there. Let's go. Okay, we're just going to have to crash it. We're gonna have to wreck it and start a new one. Yeah, like frustrating thing number one. There we go. But that's okay because a new one appeared right here. That's the nice thing is. If you ever lose your thing, it just a new one appears. Oh my god! So one of the things I hate most about the LEGO games is that, like, this is as much control as I have over the perspective. I can move it a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right. But otherwise, I have no control over, like, the perspective or the orientation. And like it really fucks with my depth perception a lot of time when I when I can't control like where I'm looking at things from. Don't you fucking dare, bitch! If you don't get over that bridge, oh thank you. Um, and so I'm about to show y'all in a second how that really fucks with you. God damn it! See, I don't think I can get out of here either. Ugh. Oh my god. We're gonna have to do the same thing again because we got stuck in here now. Yeah, fun but infuriating are Lego games. Because how can you drive straight across the bridge when the bridge is only presented to you at an angle? So you, you literally can't drive straight across it. You see what I'm saying? It's like, we can't look at the bridge straight on, so trying to drive straight across it. <clears throat> Fourth time's a charm. There we go. Okay, there's the last one. Okay, so you see how it says you can target Lego objects by 
pressing this and then putting them in the correct direction, yeah, that would all be well and good if it allowed you to place them in the correct place when you're putting them in the right direction, but then you'll see. You'll see in just a second. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. Sorry, Fang. God damn it. Fang, get out of the way. There we go. I just wanted to run over those. Okay. Okay, now we can leave that alone. And let's do these. Yeah, like these uh, Aguamenti targets, unfortunately, like half the time you'll, you'll, you'll do that, you'll target it, and then it just won't, the water won't add up for some reason, it will just be like, nope, it'll be like, you need to hit it in just the right spot or it won't work. And then, like I said, because you can't really control your perspective, um, yeah, there's just been ones of these where it's been like, I've had to change the position and where I'm like where I'm uh, aiming at it from like time and time and time again in order to get it to actually target it hey thank you for the follow I appreciate you oh sorry thing I need to do that one more time yeah that's another infuriating thing is that um a lot of times when you're trying to target an object that you're trying to jinx, like you can auto-target things, um, but half the time it'll like auto-target your, your companion, and so you end up, like I just did, you end up hitting your partner. Okay, so this is going to be the infuriating part, is putting these Legos so like here's a little clue right here. It shows you um, the order you have to put them in or like what, what they're supposed to look like when you finish putting them together. But it's the actually putting them in the right, in the right spot that's the hard part. Because it likes to try to like, it'll try to like auto place them. Okay, so that one's actually in the right spot, thankfully. And then I just need to move that one out of the way because I don't need to do that one yet. Okay, so I need to place this one next. There we go. I think that's correct. This is the tricky one. This is the one that, that always gives me a hard time. Actually, I need to move the yellow one back a little bit more. But you see what I mean? Because I can't control, like, like this is me trying to control the angle, and that's as much as I can do. And so you can see that, like, from this angle, it's really hard to tell if shit is in the right place. Do you see what I mean? There we go. I think that's correct. And also, you see how it, how quickly it'll, like, change what you're targeting? Get in there. Get in there. Oh my god. This is what I'm talking about. It's like, oh, you have it you have it positioned right where you want it? Uh fuck you. <laughs> Ugh. See what I mean? You see what I mean? You see what I'm talking about? Or or you might have it in the right position, but then it doesn't like click into place. Okay, so the other thing is that technically I could just I could just put them in whatever way as long as I'm able to like hop up there, but I won't get the studs. I won't get like the rewards. And because I'm a perfectionist, completionist, stubborn bitch, <laughs> I want to do it the right way. Do y'all see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about, right? 
See, and now it's not, now it won't let them go. Now these two are just joined forever in the wrong way. There we go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for whoever's brand new to my stream. I don't mean to be so negative and so complainy. I know that's not fun to watch, but um, I just, uh, I don't pretend that shit's okay when it's not. <laughs> I'm not that kind of person who can do that. So I hope you're, I hope if you're still watching, then, oh my God. Uh -huh. Yes. You see what I'm talking about? It's right where I need it to be, but it's like, mm, fuck you. I'm not going to go in. Oh my god. Please, somebody tell me they can see what I'm talking about right now. Oh my god. Go. Oh my god. No. 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 Oh my god. And then half the time you have to like position yourself at just the right angle to even get the right one targeted. <laughs> you see what I mean? It won't go where it's supposed to go. It'll only go a little bit behind or a little bit forward. It's like, this takes me so long because these stupid fucking levita levitation mechanics are so fucked up. <clears throat> Can I get a witness? <laughs> oh my god. Uh No, Ugh. come on, no, it keeps, it won't, it like it refuses to go in the right spot. Oh my God. There we fucking go. Okay, now the problem is I have to try to move. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? It's like, fuck you, it, it like refuses to cooperate. Hey, Harry, can you get the fuck out of the way, please? You're literally just in the way. Oh my god. Okay. No. The other one. Yes. Okay, and now it's not moving. Now it refuses to move them. Okay, whatever. I don't even... I'm so mad. Oh my god. Ugh, fucking hell. Almost, but now the yellow ones, it's like not locked in. There we fucking go. Oh my god, finally. Ugh. 
please, somebody tell me you see what I mean. Somebody get, please, can I get a witness? Can I please get a witness to that fuckery? That was infuriating. Like, nothing should be that difficult in a children's game. <laughs> Let's let Dudley get demented. <clears throat> now, in this part, it actually doesn't matter if we fight them off or not, because we're supposed to get overcome by the Dementors. Because it's just... That's how the story goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now this is the part where I need to jinx the boys, I need to jinx five of them in order to get the Ravenclaw crest. Which, again, literally how would anybody know that that's what you need to do without looking it up? Because it's not like it's intuitive or obvious that that's what you need to do. Okay, that's one. At least I think I got it. This part I don't understand. I don't understand why it wants us to look at the fucking ship. Like, okay, it's a ship. And? God damn it. See, I think we just missed that one. Which means that I'll have to redo the level over again if I can't get five. If that was one of, if there's only so many and that was one of five. God damn it, I just missed another one! Okay, no, it was two of five, three of five. Oh god, yeah. Fuck. I missed one. See, yeah, that's another infuriating thing is... Since I didn't get all five, I didn't get the Ravenclaw crest, and that means I'm going to have to redo this whole level over again to get 100%. And that means I'm going to have to redo that fucking Lego placement thing again. And I don't have the fucking patience, because that's what I had to do last time I played this, is I missed that, and then I had to restart the level today. When... Yeah, I don't even give a fuck. I'm just gonna go to a different level because, like, I don't have the patience. I don't have the patience to redo it over again. <laughs> the way the black one was hanging on for dear life. Uh, Kingsley, you mean? I didn't even notice that. <laughs> okay, alright, so I've got all the crests for this level. Or, I guess, chapter, I guess is what you could call them. I've got all the crests for this one. Alright, so this one is at um, Grim Old Place. So we still need to get the Slytherin and Gryffindor crests. So let's do this one. Now what I did last time I played this one, trying to get all the things I was missing, is... Um, and yet another thing about these games that pisses me off is that they don't make it clear that by doing this thing, you're going to end the level. So you might just see something that you like, oh, that looks like something I can interact with. And then next thing you know, the level's over. And you had other stuff that you wanted to go and look at. But little did you know that interacting with X thing would make the level fucking or going into a certain door is gonna end the level and then you're fucked and then if you want to go back and get those things you have to start all over it's so frustrating 
anyway. Anyway, but there's lots of fun stuff in, in this in this uh in this chapter. There you go. Uh, Lego let's go my Legos. <laughs> nice mama tip. But yeah, it feels like the uh the strategy in the Harry Potter games is pretty much to just jinx everything. <laughs> oh, Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all have the same color for your usernames. I'm sorry, 1001. You said let's go, my Legos. Sorry. Nice one. Nice one, 1001. These Lego games can be fun. Never played this one, but played The Hobbit and Star Wars. Ooh, maybe I should try playing The Hobbit. That sounds like that could be cute. How did you like that? Because that, be that would be a relatively newer one, right? Lego Hobbit. So maybe the uh, maybe that one doesn't have all of these infuriating clunky mechanics the way the Harry Potter ones do, because it is infuriating. I've been uh, complaining about it for the last several minutes. <laughs> it's like there's a lot of things that are fun, so I still say that it's worth playing, but it's just like. As many things, as, me as much as there are fun things, there's also like really infuriating things. Oh, they briefly removed it, but then brought it back, thankfully. I'm gonna have to look, I'm gonna look for that and see if it's on Switch, because that, I think, especially if it's a newer LEGO game, I think I'll, I think I'll probably have a lot more fun. Because I really loved LEGO Jurassic Park, like I was saying earlier. Um, do you want to go up there? Bitch, what? Why won't it even let me go up the stairs? Yeah, thank you. Now it will. The fuck? That was weird. Yet another example of something that was glitching for no reason. Anyway. I would love the Star Wars one, Mama Tiff. Yeah. Lego Hobbit was fun. Oh yeah, I already read that. Oh. Um, there's more stuff to interact with in here. Yeah, the strat I find in especially Lego Harry Potter is just jinx everything. <laughs> because almost everything, if you jinx it, will give you coins. Or I guess they're called studs, but obviously they're meant to look like coins. So it's just like, jinx everything. Oh. I'm probably gonna end stream soon because I'm getting tired. But let me let me at least try to finish this level. Let me try to get uh, the crests that I'm missing. Can I jinx this turkey? Look at that. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of cute stuff about the Lego Harry Potter ones, like, um, I like that you can kind of freely explore Hogwarts, and there's a lot of, like, fun stuff in there, and you can freely explore, like, Hogsmeade, and even Nocturne Alley, and, uh, or, sorry, Diagon Alley, and Hogsmeade, and Nocturne Alley. Um, so, it almost, almost makes up for the amount of infuriating aspects of the game. But yeah, you know, here I am playing it, so. So like the objects that are, that have like red sparklies, I have to, I can only use a dark wizard. So like this is Grindelwald, for example. So like only a dark wizard can interact with them. And so that's why there's a lot of stuff that f when you're first playing through in the story mode, you can't, there's a lot of stuff that you just can't even do because you have to wait until you unlock 
those characters in order to get them to work for you. Okay, and you see the arrows, like the blinking green arrow, and then the blinking... That means that there's something for me to collect, so it's trying to point me towards the, um, the Slytherin crest, that's why it's green. <clears throat> because, um, it's like a perk that you can buy once you have a number of, like, or it's a red brick. It's a red brick that you can, um, once you find it, you can purchase it, and then it'll, like, show you, it'll, like, direct you to where the thing is that you're looking for, the different collectibles, like the crests. So it's pointing to this thing here. Okay, Ron, you're up, because Ron has the Deluminator here. Or at least in 5 through 7 he does. So we're going to take our little ball of light and take it over here. And then we get this and we take it over here. Okay. Oh look, there's a blue stud. We almost missed that. Hmm. Right, and so obviously Molly here wants us to find her ladle. Yo lady, oh lady, oh lady, oh lady. Yo, lady. Um but I don't think it's actually in here. Can we? Can we do this if she's in front of it? Mm, no, because I don't. I would just end up jinxing her. It's just, it's just like I said, it's just like jinx everything because at the very least it'll probably give you some, some studs. And at the worst, it won't do anything. Actually, at the worst, it'll make you, it'll make the level end before you're ready to end it. If you interact with the wrong thing, which, like I said, is one of the, one of the frustrating things about this game. Or about Lego games, because I think I kind of noticed that in Jurassic Park too. that, like, I would, there would still be more stuff that I wanted to explore in a certain area, and then if I, like, interacted with the wrong thing, they would just, like, nope, oh, we're moving on now. Here's another thing that dark wizards only can interact with. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to get the rest of the coins. Ugh. So annoying. <laughs> Oh my god, I love this. Luna with the lion head. <laughs> Isn't that great? Uh, Luna's my favorite. Okay, so Harry has the invisibility cloak. So the trick here is we have to switch to Harry, put on the invis invisibility cloak so we can go past Mrs. Black here. And then... Jinx this stuff until it allows us to 
put this together and then we tag team with our companion and they pull the other one at the same time and then like these little book bookcases with the symbols on them they're runes and only Hermione can can solve these so we have to switch to Hermione for this oops let me try that again What, do I, what am I doing wrong? I think I'm pressing the wrong button. Oh, no, I'm just pressing the wrong symbol. Dang it. There we go. Okay, so now we can take this door handle back downstairs and put it back on this door where it belongs but before we go in there because actually in there is where the thing that we the like activity that's going to end the level it's in that room so we're actually not going to go in there yet unless i'm remembering wrong and yet another thing that is not letting me target. There we go. Okay, and this I guess we have to apparate, but I don't know where it expects us to apparate. Both of the apparition points are up there, so I don't know how it expects us to get up there in the first place. this and Buckbeak is up there but how are we supposed to get up there it doesn't make any sense there's so many things in the Lego games that don't make any sense okay let's go back downstairs there's more stuff oh here we go so we need somebody who's super strong for this one. Here we go, bang. Okay, what was the point of that? This is what I'm talking about. What was the point of that? It didn't do anything. Like we didn't get anything from that, did we? Oh, yes we did. <gasps> Oh, okay. I didn't realize it was a lift. Hi, Buckbeak. So that's how we get up here. Okay. Okay, so Buckbeak wants some chicken. So maybe, or, or turkey. So maybe we can grab that turkey from See, what is the point of this? What is the point of putting a bunch of furniture in the way and making me apparate? You see what I'm talking about? It's like nonsensical. Aha! We don't even have to go back down to the kitchen. Some convenient turkey leg in a, in a chest. There you go, Buckbeak. Yay! All right, so that's one crest. Now we just need the Slytherin one. Jinx, 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 jinx. Oh, nothing else? Okay, we'll go back over here. Didn't we already give? Why do I have another one? I don't know why it just gave me another turkey leg because Buckbeak seems to be full. 
also, what is the point of this? Like, why block off this whole area? Why not at least make it so that once I'm up here, I can destroy these things from this side? Like, you see what I'm saying? Y'all see what I'm saying? Okay, whatever. Whatever. I'll just go back downstairs. Let's go. Okay, well, at least now we know what that's about. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, a lot of times they'll hide studs behind doors. A lot of times you have to, like, manually target things. Oops, I'm sorry, Fang. I was trying to hit the balloons. Also, this is really cute. The little Santa ate the whole cake and now is sleeping. That's cute. We don't even have the turkey leg anymore. Okay, let's go in here. Oh my god, I forgot there's nothing in here. It's just like a little closet. There's just nothing in there but some studs. Okay, then let's go back upstairs. Because I don't think there's anything else to... Is there anything else to interact with over here? I don't think so. Okay, we'll go back upstairs. Now where is Molly's ladle? So rude. Okay, so this thing is gonna be the, the activity that will end the level. So we have to make sure not to do it. <clears throat> we have to make sure not to do that until we have gotten the Slytherin crest. So we're just going to try to find Molly's ladle. <clears throat> Thank you. All right, Fang, you're up. Yeah, that's very nice, but we don't want that. We don't need that yet. And then <clears throat> for these puzzles, you have to be somebody who can speak parcel tongue, which I guess Ron learned how to do just by listening to Harry talk in his sleep. Like, okay. <laughs> I just don't want to complete it yet. Also, can we? Oh my god, we can't even get out of here now that we're in here, can we? 
I swear to God, if the Slytherin crest is not in this room, we can't get out of here, can we? We have to end the level. Oh my God, that's that's infuriating because yet this is going to be yet another level that I'm going to have to redo. Then, I'm going to have to start all the way over from the beginning, redoing the level. Like, I don't know what's in here. And I never found Molly's ladle. Like, I didn't see it anywhere. It didn't look like it was even in the, the dining room. So I'm going to be pissed now because it's like, If, if coming in here means I can't go back out to any other part of the house, then that means I'm not going to be able to give Molly her ladle, and if that's what I needed to get in order to get the Slytherin crest, then I'm fucked. <clears throat> Sorry, Fang. This is kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, see, things like that are kind of cute. Hi, Deep. Yeah, I'm playing Lego Harry Potter. I'm probably going to be done in a bit, though, uh, because the game's already pissing me off, and, like, it won't let me back out of this area to go collect something that I needed to collect, and now I'm not going to be able to get it without restarting the whole level over again. Uh, which is really frustrating. So I'm probably just going to end this level and then end stream because I'm tired and I also need to eat something. But thanks for coming back. Welcome back. Alright. This is going to end the level. But you see how, like, if you didn't know that, if you didn't know that finishing this was going to end the level, and that going into that room, that you wouldn't be able to go back out of it, do you see what I mean? It's like, it's really frustrating. It's like, how was I supposed to know that once I went into that room, I wouldn't be able to come back out, and then anything else that I didn't grab in that area, then it's like, you're fucked, unless you restart the whole thing over again. Mm-hmm. Yep, the black family tree. Oof. You're level 36? Good for you. Nice 
nice, nice, nice. Okay, so at least we got we got one of the crests that we needed, but as you can see, we're still missing the Slytherin one. You got 100% combat in the challenges after 100% quests? Nice, that's great. Yeah, I'm trying to get 100% of the collectibles in, uh, in Lego Harry Potter, so I'm just trying to get all the crests, trying to redo all the levels to get all the collectibles, including the crests, and as you can see, the game makes it as difficult as possible because it's like, oh, you missed something? Fuck you. Start from the beginning. Start all over. But, yeah. Uh, this is 5 through 7. I already did 1 through 4. Actually, let's go back. Let's take a look. No, no, no. Um, I already... I, I either I already got a hundred percent on one through four or I like got like almost one hundred percent but um the game is stupid and glitched and I couldn't f get the last one percent or whatever I needed so let's look because I forget let's see what it says on the, the save but yeah I'm gonna end stream here soon because my voice is tired, and I'm getting tired, and I need to eat something. But uh, I'm going to radio all out to somebody. I love how it comes in one collection and select the other one. What do you mean? Alright, so yeah, I'm at, I'm at 90%. Oh, sorry, I read your, I read your comment wrong. I didn't see that select. It comes in one collection and you select either one. Well, yeah, it makes sense to do it chronologically. That's what I did too. I, like I said, I already did one through four. And as you can see, I got 90%. And then I was just like, okay. Actually, so this this is this right here tells us what we're missing. So I actually don't know what the So I'm missing I'm only missing one gold brick. Because as you can see, well, I don't know if you can see because my follower thing is in the way. Hold on a second. Alright, so as you can see, the only thing I'm missing are a few character studs. I'm only missing five character studs and then I'm only missing one gold brick. And I don't know, I don't actually know what the wizard hat, I don't know if those are spells or something or if that's just like overall completion. But basically, but basically um, I just got fed up. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna move on to five through seven, you know, instead of trying to get to like perfect completion of 100% on this one. Um, so I may go back and try to get the, the last gold brick, but it was kind of the same thing in Jurassic World where there was like one gold brick that I just couldn't find. So I was at like 99%, um, but it was like glitched or something and I just, for the life of me, could not find the last one. So anyway, that's that. Um, We'll see. I might revisit Lego Harry Potter again during another stream, but yeah, that's going to be it for me for tonight. I'm sorry for anybody who's who's just now coming in um, or just rejoining us right now, but yeah, I'm going to end stream.